Good morning, folks, cowboys and cowgirls and chaplains. have a little training for you this morning, and I uh, hope that uh, this will be a blessed time for all of us, and especially for the precious Lord. Uh, let's go uh, to his word. I'm reading out of Mark 16, 15. Then he, and that is, of course, Jesus, said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Dear Holy Father, we thank you for, the, for just the beauty of your creation. We thank you for this opportunity to share. We thank you for this opportunity to, to reach out to you. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. We invite you, we seek you, we desire your presence. And dear Lord, may the words spoken please you. May the words heard please you. And Lord, may these words be acted upon to be gainful and fruitful for your precious kingdom, for your glorious kingdom. And we thank you for that. Direct, anoint, and bless. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This, today we're going to have a little training in our chaplain program for campground, trail riding, horse event, ministry. That we are commanded by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to go into all the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ. Share the gospel. And sharing is, is, is to preach, to teach, to witness, to testify, to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. And as a cowboy chaplain, when we reach out in these riding stables and trail rides out on the mountains of the God's glorious creation, whenever we go to these places, then we need to go as a servant of the Holy God. That's why we're going. That's what we do. That's what we do is share Jesus Christ as we go. And we need to go in the power of the Holy Spirit. We need to be prayed up, studied up, and ready to serve and prepared to serve. Sharing the Lord God takes some effort, takes some energy. Apply that effort and apply that energy into being a fruitful servant of the only, our Holy Master, King Jesus. Now, trail riding, campground ministry is a sweet ministry. It gets awfully soul-stirring to sit around the campfire and share Jesus Christ. It's all, it's, it's precious time. And what, I just, I just cannot explain, explain the, the, the uniqueness, the, the preciousness of sharing Jesus Christ to a group at a campground and, and, the others will come in. Others will say, hey, you know, they sound like they got something going on. Let's go see. Singing praises to the Lord, singing hymns, sharing, have someone uh, testify, but also reaching the lost. Invite people in, invite them in. And we are ambassadors of God's children. We're ambassadors of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, into the cowboy world. And we have certain standards we have to follow. Walk the walk of a Christian walk when you go out. Always, always walk the walk. When you go out, we have to present Jesus Christ. We're not pro promoting any religious group. We're not condemning any religious group. We're just not promoting them. We promote Jesus Christ. We share the word of God. We preach and teach Jesus Christ and the good news of the gospel and God's holy word. And and that is what we do, and that's what we go. Cowboys of Christ is interdenominational and try to keep that focus on Jesus Christ and not any certain different religious group, however good or however bad. We're, we're not that we don't even have to enter into that program. We need to guide them directly to Jesus Christ. Don't don't be so so consumed with bringing them in a certain way, bring them to Jesus. Bring them to the foot of the cross. Guide them directly to Jesus Christ and keep the focus there. No traditions, no, we do it this way or we used to do it that way. Jesus, 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 Jesus. That's what we promote. Remember our doctrinal statement of Cowboy Chaplains America to worship and serve the Holy Father, to accept and proclaim the Holy Son, and to be filled and directed 
by the Holy Spirit. Oh, you follow that? You're, you're there. You're there, my friend. Assume, never ask. You go, hey, hello, I'm Dave Harvey, chaplain of Cowboys for Christ, and I'm going to have Cowboy Church Sunday morning. Where would be the best place to have it? Or go to the campgrounds and invite everyone. Hey, I'm a chaplain with Cowboys for Christ, and I'm going to have a, just a little uh, group session to worship the Lord Sunday morning. How about coming and being a part of it Sunday morning? Here's a flyer telling you what time it is. And oh, here's a Christian Rancher. This is the paper that we put out every other month. And we've published it since 1976. Just a cowboy cowgirl journal. But you might enjoy reading it. And hope to see you Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever time you're coming in. So, so be prepared to invite them, you know. Now, the cowboy ministry is an early, late ministry. Meaning... You arrive early and you stay until everyone's gone. That's just the part of the ministry. That's what you're there. The, the early minutes are sweet ministry. The late minutes are, are really sweet ministry. So be prepared to minister. You go there to minister. Enjoy your time, but you will greatly enjoy your time as you share Jesus Christ. It's an early, late ministry, so you're not worried about a schedule. You're worried about saving a life for eternity for the Lord God Almighty. That's our mission. That's our mission. Introduce yourself as I just explained how to do it. You can call it Cowboy Church, which we've had since 1970 at Cowboy Functions all over the United States, or you can call it a Cowboy Get-Together. You can call it a little jam session. We're going to have some gospel uh, songs and teaching and maybe a prayer or two and just have a good time in the Lord. So come and be with us. And that attracts those that may not be saved. We may, may not be church people. They may not know anything about the Lord. That's what you're there for, is to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Just eliminate the problem and assume that as I've taught in so many other teaching, that you're welcome. And believe me, you will be welcome because the Holy Spirit has already broken the ground. He's already prepared the situation. He's already touched lives. So depend on the Holy Spirit to do his job. You just do yours. That's the problem. Do yours. Step out in faith and do yours. Prepare a flyer. I had a stack of probably 200 flyers. It had Cowboy Church, sponsored by Cowboys for Christ. It had a date and a time in a place, and I could just fill it in with a marker. Get you a magic marker, take it with you, and then just hand it to them if you go around. And that's another thing. In the evenings before the service, Sunday evening, I mean Saturday evening before Sunday morning, and or any time, it doesn't have to be Sunday morning, any time you want to have Cowboy Church, then go around and introduce yourself, share for a few minutes, leave them a Christian ranchman and a flyer uh, on the time and date and everything so that they'll know where to go. They'll know what time. It's terrible that you set up everything and then you go and have a service and then an hour later everybody shows up. That doesn't work. Make sure it's plain, out in front, so that people understand. Ah, he's having a church. Let's go see what this is out. This guy's kind of a little weird. Let's go see if he's really weird. They will get the message because the Holy Spirit is speaking to their heart. Take that flyer. Get it filled out. I mentioned Christian Ranchman. They're free. Free. So take it back up. You don't have them, you call me. You let me know. We will get you some. Tracks. Have a tracks. Have the flyer of the ride. Have, have ministry material that not only you can impact their lives at that moment, but you leave them something that they can read later. And sometimes the later means a lot in a lot of lives. So be prepared. Have your material. Another thing, have a location for the service marked out so that you will be there. If you need power, like I've said before, I carried 200 foot of extension cord. I had my speaker system. If you can get a speaker system, they're relatively inexpensive now and a good one and you can tote them around and they will make a lot of impact because the people down there behind the scenes, so to speak, will hear the message also. Don't be overbearing, but be proclaiming. Have, be ready for it. Okay, have a banner. The Cowboys for Christ flag right behind me. They're readily available. We have them. Let me know. We will ship you one. And uh, 
They're a strong, mighty, good flag. It makes it good for grand entry flag, parade flag, as well as a wonderful banner too, as you can see. And uh, But have your equipment, have it ready. If it's in the morning, if you want to, and you have a helper, have some coffee and donuts if you want to. That's not really necessary, but it sort of brings people in. If it's in the evening, have a little water. If it's hot after a long trail ride and you had it for the campground, have a little, hey, grab a bottle of water and come on over and sit with us. Be welcoming because Jesus was welcoming. Don't turn anyone down. Let them hear you. Let them hear the, the, the inviting in your voice as it would be, as Jesus would invite. Let them know that you want their presence. You're desiring them to come and you have something to share with them that's really important, that may have an eternal implication on their life, impact on their life. So invite them in. Be prepared. Have a, have a short message. You don't have to preach two hours. In fact, please don't, because you won't have anybody there after an hour. But have a message. Remember, you always, always, if you share the gospel, you have an invitation. You give someone an opportunity to respond to the good news of Jesus Christ. I have an invitation. Hey, do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Well, all it takes is belief. Do you believe that there's a God that made that beautiful animal? The horse that we ride? That made this beautiful cathedral? His almighty uh, glorious sky with all the, the heavenly bodies? It didn't just happen. It was a creator. That creator created you. That creator gave his son so that you can be ransomed because you're a sinner. Would you like to receive that as a truth and accept him now? Let's pray this prayer. And then have the sinner's prayer with him. I like to have to say the prayer of salvation because if it might be a sinner's prayer because everybody's a sinner, so it's everybody's prayer. So, uh, so whatever you have, give them an opportunity to accept the Lord. Be prayed up, be studied up, and go and be fruitful in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mark 16, 15. Then he, Jesus said to them, go into all the world and preach, proclaim, witness, testify the gospel to all creation. The Lord bless you, and the Lord bless your service to him. In Jesus' name, thank you.